New at five, the internet lighting up in reaction to a post today from Ohio Treasurer and U.S. Senate candidate Josh Mandel. He posted an article online today accusing CARE, the nonprofit Center for American Islamic Relations, of being a front for terrorism. Colleen Marshall talked to him today, and she joins us now in the studio with his response. Well, Mandel is, of course, sticking by his claim, despite criticism that he reports, uh, he cites a report that an organization itself has questionable origins. Now, this is the post that you'll find on his page, and this is who he's citing. You might not be able to see it, but it's the Center for Security Policy. Now, that's been called an anti Muslim conspiracy group. The Southern Poverty Law Center claims it's known for accusations that the Muslim Brotherhood has infiltrated all levels of American government. But Mandel claims his other source for his belief that CARE is a horrible organization is federal court filings. Mandel's Facebook page is filled with criticism that he's fear-mongering, but also praise that he's trying to keep America safe. Mandel's office sent me a 118-page report that claims the federal government on three different occasions has tied CARE to terrorism. The report claims that in a December 2007 federal court filing, prosecutors described CARE as having conspired with other affiliates of the Muslim Brotherhood to support terrorists. Mandel claims in 2006 court cases, federal prosecutors publicly accused CARE of being unindicted co-conspirators of terrorist organizations, Hamas and the Muslim Brotherhood. The Muslim Brotherhood and Hamas are not legitimate governmental entities. Those are terrorist organizations. And I'm hopeful uh, under this new administration uh, that the federal government um, we will go after the Council on American Islamic Relations uh, and shut down the organization because I think there's uh, quite a bit of uh, ties out there between the Council on American Islamic Relations uh, and terrorist organizations. And now the nonprofit care organization denies any ties to terrorism. They directed us to its website, saying because of its record on civil liberties and justice, a vocal group of anti-Muslim bigots has made it the focus of a misinformation campaign. Now, as for what people are saying on the website to Josh Mandel, let's take a look. Uh, we've, we're getting reaction. This, these are people who were against Mandel today, saying, please stop peddling conspiracy theory, theories. It calls in to question your critical thinking skills and thus your ability to govern effectively. Another person said the article you cite is from a radical conspiracy theory website, fear-mongering much, but he is also getting praise. Uh, one of his supporters said, care should be tossed out of our country. They add nothing to society. Another said, thank you. Our eyes have been closed, but now they are opening. And we are sure to be hearing much more about this because, of course, Josh Mandel running to try to unseat Sherrod Brown in the Senate in 2018. So Ellie and Mark, prepare to hear a lot of this on the campaign trail for the next two years. All right, Colleen, thank you.